Mm, yeah, we discovered a way. We figured out that if we measure a quantum object without interfering with the wavelength, the object can stay in its superposition state. So we link this to how quantum mechanics splits the universe into two when it entangles with its environment. And if we measure this decoherence in the manner I explained earlier, then we actually figured out a way of how to measure and like look up these universes and see what lies beyond. And then all the possible universes can be analyzed and we can actually calculate like which universe will deliver the greatest contentment to the individual. And then we also found a way to deliver this individual to that universe by measuring the person's individual quantum mechanics. After doing several experiments with non-living organisms, then moving up to living organisms, we actually have conducted our first experiment with a living individual, subject number Y, and we just got the data back that it was successful. And while we were analyzing this, we actually stumbled upon new information that we didn't quite expect. For this universe to reach the best result for the subject, every decision made and every experience had to the subject had to change, like they had to be different. <clears throat> Therefore the subject had to go through a process of loss, confusion, perplexion and adjustment.